Hi, I'm Becca Emmerich, the Educational Outreach Manager at Edmund Optics. Today, we're going to talk about an optical phenomenon that most of you probably know about already, reflection. Reflection occurs when a ray of light moves in one direction, hits a surface, and then moves back in another direction. You can think of reflection of light as the bouncing of light. You may already know that reflection allows you to see yourself in a mirror or any other shiny object. But did you know that reflection is what allows you to see every single object that does not produce its own light? Basically, any object that is not the sun or does not contain a light bulb can only be seen because of reflection. Light moves towards objects and then it bounces off the objects into your eye. And that's how you see. Let's take a closer look at reflection by shining light onto a mirror. The ray of light that is coming directly from the light source is called the incident ray. The ray of light that is being reflected off the mirror is called, can you guess? The reflected ray. Okay, so now that we know about the incident ray and the reflected ray, let's talk about the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection. In physics, scientists and engineers use an imaginary line called the normal. The normal is an invisible line that is perpendicular to a surface, in this case, a mirror. The angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal. The angle of reflection is the angle between the reflected ray and the normal. By putting a protractor against the mirror, we can see that the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. This is called the law of reflection. So there you have it. Reflection is the bouncing of light. It is what allows you to see yourself and everything around you. The angle of incidence and the angle of reflection are always the same. Reflect on that for a minute. See what I did there?